Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on geometry. In triangle ABC, so we have to figure there, the area is 2022, and we do have I to be the in center. So the red circle you see, it's the in circle of triangle ABC. So we have AI to be five, and then the radius of the in circle or the in radius is three. And we're asked to find the length of BC. Right, so credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, um, just taking a look at the given, we do have an area and we already have the in radius or the radius of the inscribed circle. Now, we do have a nice formula for the in radius, right? We do have the in radius R to be the area of the triangle divided by the semi-perimeter of the triangle. Okay, so we could use that to our advantage. Now, um, before we do that though, there is one thing that I could kind of obviously get here. Um, let me just label the, um, this part to be, let's just say X for now. Uh, let's say this part is X. Now, we do have a small right triangle over there and it's gonna be three X and five. Now, some of you guys might be familiar with it already. Three squared plus X squared equals five squared. You're going to get x is equal to 25 minus 9. That's going to be 16. And we're going to get x equals 4 from here. So um, that length of x, that's going to be 4. And we're going to use that later. But then again, it's a geometry question. It's nice to have a lot of lengths around. All right, so that part's 4. And now let's actually use the in radius uh, to kind of give us something. Because we do know the area and we do know the in radius. So uh, the in radius is 3 based from the given. So 3 is equal to 20, 22 divided by the semi-perimeter. So the semi-perimeter would be 2022 divided by 3. Luckily for us, that's divisible, so that's going to be 674. Now with this, we could actually get the perimeter of the triangle as well. But let, let me just write this as um, the semi-perimeter being equal to 674. Let's remember that for now. And next, um, let's take a look at the tangents here. Now, um, a while ago, the length of x uh, that's technically going to be the length of AF now. So AF would be 4. Now, we do have the nice property of tangents. For example, um, AF and AE, they are both tangents from an external point, A. So they're both tangents to that red circle, the in circle. So AE should also be 4. Okay. With the same logic, BF is a tangent and BD is the another as the other tangent from B. So BF and BD should be of the same length. I'm going to highlight it in yellow. And then the last one, we're going to have EC. Let's highlight this in green. So EC would be uh, equal to DC because they are just the same tangent from point C. Now, a little bit of an ugly shading here, but from this, we can kind of see that we can get the perimeter of the triangle, right? Now, um, the perimeter is just uh, these two fours, so these two fours, and then these two yellow segments, and then these two green segments. Uh, essentially, if I add them all up, that's going to be the perimeter of the triangle. Now, tw uh, twice the yellow and twice the green, that's going to be twice of BC, because we know that BC is, that, is this yellow segment, this yellow segment, plus this green segment. So BC is yellow plus green, and I could add everything up. So I have two fours, right? Two fours, two yellows, and two greens. But I know that two yellows and two greens, that's gonna be a yellow and a green. So essentially I'm doing two times four, so twice the blue, and then two times BC. BC is the yellow plus green. So twice the four plus twice the BC would be, tw uh, would be the perimeter. Now going back, we do have S to be six, seven, four. So, so, so the semi-perimeter is six, seven, four. So obviously the perimeter would be twice of six, seven, four. Now I don't have to evaluate this one because I do have a lot of twos I could cancel out. That's nice. So four plus BC, that's six, seven, four. So BC is essentially just 670. So the length of BC, it's going to be 670. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.